Hey there, I'm just a guy at the range. Let's go shoot something. So I've been shooting mostly short range stuff recently and I figured it was time to start taking some longer shots. Um, so I've put my targets out at about 75 yards. You can just kind of see them over this hill. Um, so I'm going to be shooting a couple of things today. Uh, this is a Savage Mark II and 22 long rifle down here. It's zeroed at 50 yards, so I shouldn't have too much trouble getting it out to 75 yards. I'll just aim up just a little bit. And then I've got a, a 223, which I think is zeroed at 100 yards, which pretty much anything from 50 to 300 with that uh, 223 round will be right on target with the size targets that we're shooting. So I'm just going to put a couple of rounds through that. Uh, my normal camera setup isn't going to quite work for this one, so I'm just going to have you guys on the... Uh, on the targets down there so you can see when I hit stuff. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start off with the Savage uh, Mark II and 22 long rifle. And I'm gonna be shooting pretty much right over the camera um, just so that I can, I'm at my 50, or I'm sorry, my 75 yard mark. I'm just gonna see what I can do and hopefully you'll be able to see the hits. Um, feel bad, I don't have another camera on me so you don't get to look at me, but who cares? Who wants to look at me anyway? Okay, so let's see if we can put some 22s on those targets down there. I'm going to start on the left one. I think I missed that one. Let's adjust just a little bit. There it is. Okay. Nope. There we go. Got that one on there. Nice. Okay, so it's pretty much ideal uh, conditions for shooting today. There's pretty much no wind, uh, which unfortunately means there's quite a few bugs. So that's the only thing that's working against me. But other than that, it's a very nice calm day for shooting at 75 yards. All right. There it is. So I'm shooting standing right now, which is why I'm focusing on those 8 inch plates, because I can hit those fairly easily. Um, not quite sure if I'll hit the 4. I'm going to try and hit that 4 inch plate. I don't know if I can do this standing at 75. Yep, yeah, got it. I think that was more luck than skill. Uh, but that was my last round. Alright, so I'm going to transition then over to the uh, AR-15. So this is an AR-15 chambered in 223. And again, you know, it should be able to hit out at 75, no problem. So uh, it's going to be all me whether I can actually hit stuff standing or not. Uh, but let's just see if I can get any of those plates with the 223. So the 22 long rifle is very accurate, and this Savage is probably the most accurate 22 that I've ever shot, short of some ancient you know, competition rifles. Um, I, I am amazed at how well I can hit stuff with that guy. So I have him zeroed at 50 yards, and I'm keeping you know, a dime size group with 22. Uh, just shooting federal bulk or you know whatever I have on. Occasionally I use some of the Aguila uh, special stuff like their subsonic sniper or their super maximum. Uh, but just any ammo, that thing will eat it and it gets it on target very well. Um, 223 AR-15 there, that's uh, one of the ones that I built. I think that might have been the, it's the first upper that I built. Um, but you know again very nice accurate platform uh, this one is a heavy barrel so underneath the handguard the uh, the barrel's a little bit thicker uh, just gives it a little bit more weight a little bit more accuracy um, and you'll notice i have barska scopes on both of these people laugh at me when i take those to the range because you know barska is kind of bottom shelf stuff not particularly well uh, received but at the same time uh, it works for me you know and i don't want to spend a lot of money on my optics i'd rather spend the money um, on the ammo and the gun and people will laugh at me and say well you're gonna waste money on the ammo if you don't have good optics well I'm getting good hits with what I have 
And as soon as I start shooting something where I need something better than this, then of course I'll go and I'll spend the money on something so I'm not wasting ammo. Uh, but I like Barska scopes. Um, this is the uh, 4 to 16 by 50, I think. Um, yeah, 4 to 16 by 50. It's got the 30 30 reticle. Let me see if I can show you guys oh, what the reticle looks like. There you go. So you can kind of see the 30 30 reticle in there. Oh, come on. It was so close. There it is. All right, so that's what I'm looking at. Um, I like the 30 30 reticle. Uh, the AR 15 here has the 4 to 16 uh, by 40, and it has a mill dot reticle. There it is. So it's got the little mill dots on it. Um, not that I particularly uh, like those, but it is kind of nice at the longer range to be able to use that, uh, adjust for windage and things like that, or if the uh, sights are off. It's cool because if you're sighting in a scope, put a shot on target, then you can actually use the mill dots to measure how far off from center you are by putting those uh, the, the crosshair right back on center and then counting the mill dots over to where the hit hit on the target. So anyway, I'm just a guy having fun at the range. Hope you enjoyed that.